Now we want to make six sounds with our uh, micro bit. Now there runs into a little problem. There are only three real accessible ports on the micro bit uh, because you know zero, one, two, one, and two are really the only ones accessible. All these other ports really hard to get to. So you need an extension board, breakout board also called, sometimes called hat and shields. And there are various ones. This little one is by a company called Electfreaks. Electfreaks. This bigger one is called the MakerBit Plus R. There's also a MakerBit. The Plus R is for robotics. Um, Adafruit makes one called a Cricut. Uh, Electrify makes another one. So various places have uh, breakout ports. And what that does is it gets you access to all of the pins. So, or pretty much all the pins. There's a few that gets, tend to be reserved. So that's pin zero, then there's pin one, two, three, five, seven, okay. So what I have done is I have plugged my speaker into pin zero. The only thing, the, the hardest part is you gotta pay attention to what pins are numbered. As I said, some of the pins are kind of reserved. So there might not be a pin there you think is there. Um, so, but pin zero is for the speaker because that's where sound defaults to and then I put three buttons yeah we're gonna need six if we want to do a, an actual braille cell but it just extend you know just add three more buttons and I uh, put them onto pin five six and seven I have them wired to ground and signal now different boards want you to wire them to high power and signal so you might have to tweak and play with that which means the code changes from if the button is high or if the button is low, do something. That's the only difference. So I've just put uh, notes on these. Um, here we go. So we've got pin zero, ground and signal for the speaker, and then ground and signal for the buttons, and then power. Put whichever note you want on there for the maker bit, and that is the basics. I had to do some tweaking and playing around for some reason. Um, don't know why. Sometimes it's hard, hard, hard to fidget. Now the one thing you do have to do with the code, because some of those pins are part of that uh, five by five LED. On start, you have to uh, turn off the LED. LED enable false. And then the code is just a bunch of if, if statements. If digital read pin 5 is 0, then play tone C. If digital read pin 6 equals 0, play the tone. So you got to go find some over here, some logic, and uh, some of the math for the expressions of is if something is 0, do something. And that's all the code is.